Hi everybody, Gary Williams here for Toolbarn.com's Barn Batter. I bet you're wondering what these are. Well, you know they look like robot arms, don't they? They, they kind of act like robot arms. And in a way, that's what they are. We're going to show you what to do with them. Stay with us. So, tell me about these useful and electrical applications, right? Yep. Go ahead and get into them for us, if you would. Yeah, sure. So this is our uh, battery-powered uh, cable cutter. Right. Uh, so the range here is from eight to a thousand. Uh, so it'll pretty much cover um, any electrical application that's going to be used on the larger contractors. So okay. um, the jaws kind of open and close on their own. Uh, the nice thing about these, once you cycle the tool, uh, if you're working with a smaller wire, you can actually stop the blades and keep that so then you don't have to wait for them to open back up and cycle right. back through. So I'll right. uh, give you a little sample here. So it'll release on its own even if you hand, have the hand on the trigger and then tapping that uh, trigger again will keep those blades a little bit more closed. So mm -hmm. um, nice little feature if you then you don't have to wait for the whole cycle uh, once again. So, oh it works quickly too. Yeah. 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 How's, it, how's it stack up against the others in the marketplace? Uh, it's Well, the range uh, it puts us at an advantage to others in the market. Um, cycle speed is going to be very competitive with others, um, but again, having both uh, the wide range of wire sizes and that quick cycle right. speed will uh, put us above the others. Yeah, so, great. Okay, yeah. so a great tool, and obviously, you know, the battery platform is nice uh, for portability. Yep, so we run off of uh, Makita batteries, um, so we range uh, solely off of their platform, so okay. if you've got the drill, um, then it's certainly helpful uh, towards our battery tools. So. Yeah, okay, great. Tell me about this one. So this is our EK425. Um, we've got different jaws depending on the type of uh, presses that you're using. Uh, so it's easy to switch back and forth uh, depending on the crimp style that you're needing. Yeah. Uh, so you just slip switch back and forth, slide it in, pop, ready to go, just spring loaded. Mm -hmm. um, similar style, all of our battery tools run off of hydraulic press. Uh, same structure, just depending on what you need. Cutter to cut, uh, crimper to cut as well. So, cycle speed the same. Certainly easy in this 350 degree rotating head. Uh, if you got a tight spot and your arms are in a little awkward positioning, uh, you can rotate that tool yeah. and you don't have to fight there uh, trying to get into that tight spot. Great. So. Okay. Hey, we've got more. We'll be back with it. So, Alan, one minute or less. Tell me what this. Tell me the advantages of that particular tool right there. Yeah, so this is our uh, wire stripper. It's the G2090. Uh, it's ranged from size 8 to 750. Okay. Um, so what this does, it's it's your wire stripping tool um, that's protected the blade. Uh, number one uh, job site injury is, is a cut when you're stripping wire. All right. Uh, so this eliminates that. Yeah. Can you uh, give us a demo? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a 350 here. Um, what you typically want to do is check your uh, blade depth on the edge, right. um, so we're good there. Um, you can feed it out just in the one direction or, or tighten up the, the blade there. Okay. So we'll go back, if you have your hooks up, press down on that wire, uh, the one direction is gonna be a straight cut, and then the opposite direction is gonna spiral out. So there you can see it's kind of corkscrewing that yeah. uh, jacket. Right. And then the blade on the outside is how you access that last cut and then once you make that, then it just peels out. Um, nice thing about this too, is you're not gonna be scoring the wire. Right. So a lot of times, uh, if you're using a blade, you run the risk of getting in and digging into that copper. Right. Um, here, you're actually avoiding that and you're getting a nice clean cut. So yeah, and you got precision with it and the whole thing and it's just, like you say, it gets it nice and clean. Yep, nice Good. clean cut. It's a very safest way to, to get through wire. So. Right, okay. Yep. Okay, this is Greenlee's new mid-range puller. It's called the G6. Um, it's the fastest on the market right now. It'll do a 4,000 pound pull at 11 feet per minute or a 2,000 pound pull at 22 feet per minute. So that's the fastest on the market. Wow. What's also nice about the Greenlee pullers is they are specifically engineered to do a cable pull. A lot of people out there right now are making pullers that are just kind of cobbled together from pieces of other machines. Uh -huh. And some work okay and some don't. Um, but ours are specifically made to do a cable pull. Okay. It's and also, what's, what's, what's the advantage of that? Tell me what that would what the advantage of that would be. Your motor doesn't bur uh, burn up. Okay. Your gearbox is made for the pull, so it'll right. last longer. It'll uh, do the job a lot better. It's it's kind of like everything's pre-adjusted to what it should be. It's made for the pull. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, one man operation only weighs 240 pounds, so with this rotating handle, it 
rotates back just like any other hand truck, so it can be moved around pretty easy. Yeah. Handle can be moved out of the way. The boom here with these captain pins, you pull these out. The boom can be extended up and then set into place. Okay. Your head can also rotate one way or another, so you can do an up pull, a side pull, a down right, pull. Right, right. Once you have it in place, you can, with these captive pins, pull in, rotate your nose, and then you clamp on the conduit here. Yeah, okay. It also has a force gauge on the front, which shows you your force of the pull as you um, are starting it. It's also foot pedal enabled. With a double tap of the foot pedal, we can go from low speed to high speed. And there's dual caps in here, depending on the forces and how fast you want to do it, you'll use one capstan or the other. Okay. So look, with Greenlee tools, you can get the job done faster, safer, easier. You can do all those things. And it's just a lot easier on your body to use uh, tools to do the job, right? So check them out on toolbarn.com. You'll find everything there that you can need to know about Greenlee. And we hope that you join us next time.